in New Jersey. Uh, I'd like to start the program with a flag salute. If everybody can stand. I Recognizing that this is an extremely special occasion, uh, we've asked the choir under the direction of Dr. Patrick Finley to open our program with an original composition, New Jersey My Home, uh, which is uh, up uh, for possibly being chosen as the state song. It's a very, very strong competitor. Uh, and what I'd like to do is turn the program over to uh, Dr. Finley. Ladies and gentlemen, the Park Ridge Choir is pleased to perform what will become the state song. <laughs> have some very distinguished people with us uh, tonight in addition to the commissioner. Uh, first of all, we have the county superintendent, Dr. Aaron Graham. We have a 
Assemblyman uh, John Rooney. <laughs> Assemblywoman Charlotte Vanderbilt. We also have superintendents that have come from the surrounding districts to join us in addition to residents and uh, the administration. We have a very, very special person here without whom today would not have been possible. Uh, we have the commissioner's mom. Could you just say that? is extremely fortunate as you look at the people that are sitting on the stage and if you uh, look at the council and you look at the Board of Ed uh, you are looking at 30% uh, of them went to school uh, with the Commissioner of Education and uh, we've spent the last half hour lobbying and uh, what I'd like to do is now introduce uh, the board president Dennis Tarantino for presentation Fortunately, I did not go to Parkridge High School, but my children did, and uh, one is still attending. Uh, on behalf of the Board of Education, it gives me great pleasure to welcome Mr. Hespe back to Park Ridge. Uh, the position of Commissioner of Ed in New Jersey is a very tough job, uh, especially for those of you that are not in education, may not fully understand some of the dynamics in that position. <clears throat> it involves sometimes items as mundane as the height of a drinking fountain in an elementary school to an item that is co as complex as a uh, HSPT test, the formulation of it. So it, it is a very difficult position. And it's always known that no matter what decision the commissioner makes, someone, whether it be the Garden State Coalition, Urban School Coalition, the Middle Income Schools Coalition, the Abbott Schools, or better yet, the NJEA, NJASA, NJASBO, NJPSA, NJSBA, and last but not least, the NJSIAA. Everybody's involved. And it's a wonder any decisions are ever made down the track because there's always someone to second guess and to question. So, I feel sorry for you in some regards because I know what you're going through. But, we know that the education we, you received here in Park Ridge will help you on a daily basis. And just in case you may have forgotten some of those important educational lessons that were taught to you here at Park Ridge High School, we have here tonight a classmate of yours who also happens to be on Park Ridge Board of Education and I think it was very important in helping put this program together and I'm going to let him talk a little bit about his experiences with you and that's Mr. Richard Penn.
graduated with a BA in history from Rutgers in 1982. We learned here tonight he also graduated a degree in psychology as well, and I question that one. <laughs> but he also graduated from Rutgers School of Law, Law shortly thereafter. His credentials for being the Commissioner of Education are impressive. He was the Associate Counsel in Education Section for the Office of Legislative Services from 1989 through 1994. And that's when Governor Whitman tapped her, tapped him, to be her assistant counsel for education and higher education until 1997. While he was serving as assistant commissioner for education, a position of the State Board of Education appointed to, to, in 1997, Attorney General Peter Venero named him first assistant attorney general. But most recently, he's returned back where he belongs, back in education. And I think we're all pretty honored and Certainly, uh, I know I'm certainly uh, honored to, uh, to be able to introduce him tonight. Uh, I wish you the best of congratulations, and certainly best wishes in your new position. And at this point, I'd like to bring Dennis back up, and we have a special presentation for him. said before, we're also very honored to have the mayor and the council here. I really think uh, that their presence just indicates one more time what Park Ridge is like in terms of being a very, very close-knit community. And I'd like to introduce the mayor of uh, Park Ridge, Richard Mancinell. Thank you. Um, I had a brief opportunity before we walked into the little theater and by the way, Commissioner Hesby, I hope you appreciate that we left the uh, ventilation system exactly the same way as you left 21 years ago. I wanted you to feel, feel the warmth in this room and this town for you tonight. And not that anybody would take this opportunity to put a cheap plug in for more state aid, but I'm sure we could find a way to spend it if that was ever to happen with your good graces. Mrs. Mozak talked about 30% of the elected officials in town went to school with the commissioner, and I think that alone is probably worth about, what do you think, about fifteen to $20,000 a piece for each board and a council member for more aid. Now, I promise, uh, can I call you Chris, by the way? Okay. When I, when I read this in the paper, I'm like, who the heck is David Hesby? Because we all know him as Chris, and we knew him with another name, but in deference to his mom who's here tonight, I, I promised I wouldn't say it, and, um, and I won't. Um, there's no question we're proud here in Park Ridge. Um, we know we have a lot of good people that come out of this school system, and every once in a while, one of them escapes from town and does good, so we're very proud of that. Um, your presence here tonight and you representing the state of New Jersey is also, I view, is very positive to those of us who, who live and support the quality education that we have in our suburban areas in New Jersey. I think Dennis touched upon some of the uh, all competing interests that take place throughout the state, and I think at times, at a suburban level, we get shortchanged because there's a view, perhaps, unfairly in Trenton, that we may be house rich but cash poor, and when they do the formula, somehow uh, towns like Park Ridge um, seem to get a very little piece of that pie. But, but we, we do with what we have, and we're very grateful for that. I don't want you to read anything wrong into that. Um, I want to read a proclamation, which is a reflection of the governing body, the school board, and more importantly, this community. And uh, we hope you take it back to Trenton. We hope you display it proudly in your office. Whereas David Christopher Hespy was born on January 26, 1960, the youngest of three children of James and Bertha Hespy. 
And whereas David Christopher Hespie is a homegrown product of the Park Ridge School System, having started in kindergarten and graduating with the class of 1978, and whereas David Christopher Hespie then attended Rutgers University and following his graduation from Rutgers Newark School of Law began his public career in 1989, working for the New Jersey Office of Legislative Services as associate counsel in the education sector. And whereas in February 1994, sounds like Rich Henning wrote this. <laughs> whereas in, 19, in February 1994, David Christopher Hespie became the governor's assistant counsel for education and higher education issues and was subsequently appointed assistant commissioner of education in May 1997 and then first assistant attorney general in March 1998. And whereas in April 1999, Governor Christine Todd Whitman nominated and the state legislature confirmed the appointment of David Christopher Hespie as the New Jersey Commissioner of Education. And whereas the borough of Park Ridge, a 2.6 square mile community of 8,000 residents, has been the home of several distinguished political and public servants, including former President Richard Nixon, former mayor and assistant commissioner of the Department of Community Affairs, Edward Cornell, former mayor and assistant commissioner of insurance, David Grubb, and former county freeholder parks commission and United Nations delegate at large, Bernice Alexander. And whereas David Christopher Hespie is the first homegrown product of Park Ridge to attain the distinguished position of state commissioner. Now therefore, I, Richard Mancinelli, mayor of the borough of Park Ridge, Bergen County, New Jersey, in prideful recognition of the accomplishments of one of our own kids, hereby proclaims the rest of Wednesday, May 26, 1999, <laughs> as David Christopher Hespie Day in Park Ridge. So you got about four and a half hours to take this with you. <laughs> if you present this to, to the local Burger King or the Super Bowl, you'll get a 20% discount between now and the rest of the night. Congratulations, guys. Again, what you have uh, seen is uh, from a local level. What I'd like to do is just ask the county superintendent to say a few words, uh, again, from a county level, because uh, the impact uh, that uh, Commissioner Hespie is having is having ripples throughout every level of government, and a lot of the ripples are extremely welcome. I just want to bring greetings and congratulations from all of the superintendents and school persons, as well as community persons in Bergen County. Bergen County, as you know, is the largest county in the state. We have 78 operating school districts, and 76 of those have superintendents. So I have quite a bit of work to do, and as Dave was talking earlier, and some of the other speakers were saying about the difficulty of this job, let me tell you, that as a county superintendent, how much we appreciate uh, Dave Hespie. Uh, when we have our meetings every month in Trenton, uh, since Dave has been there, he certainly comes and meets with us and shares uh, departmental direction and includes us and has a very, very high respect for county offices as well as the whole Department of Education. But it's special for me to come tonight because the first year that I started with the state, prior to becoming a local assistant superintendent, I, I was coming to Park Ridge in 1978. And I'm sure in walking around and monitoring these schools, I was monitoring a kid named Dave Hespy somewhere <laughs> in that group. And Clayton Byer used to be so proud of his uh, career plan and used to take me in and show me all the career plans for all of the students. I don't know if uh, Dave, yours included uh, commissioner at that time, but uh, he was very proud of that program, and Dr. Ballantyne became a, not only a great friend, but a mentor for me as well. This is a community that I love and have the highest respect for, and with the great commissioner, we're going to do even greater things. So I just wanted to bring congratulations to you from the old Bergen County. have been around for quite a while in terms of education and we have seen many many commissioners and I think one of the things that pleases us uh, most about Commissioner Hespie is uh, not only is he a product of Park Ridge but he's one of the few commissioners 
and probably going back maybe 20 years that has come all the way through the public school system, including the university level. And I think that uh, that means a lot to everybody in the state of New Jersey because he has personally experienced the inherent value of public education and its contribution in terms of uh, the state and the country. Uh, we're very encouraged as we attend meetings and as we read the newspapers uh, because he's able to listen, he's able to hear, and we've seen in the newspaper articles that there have been different policies from the State Department that have been re-examined basically based on what he has heard uh, from the people, many of whom are sitting here as superintendents and as the county uh, superintendent has just mentioned. Uh, so therefore, it's with a great deal of pleasure that I introduce Commissioner Hesby. There's so much I want to say um, tonight, uh, but let me first begin by saying um, it's probably not fitting that, that there's a tribute to me tonight. I should be giving all of you a tribute because I'm about to fall off the stage. Um, because the schools of Park Ridge produced many people and gave people a great education. And I do think I had a great education in the Park Ridge Public Schools. Um, matter of fact, when I go around to many schools in the state, I basically say a message which I think applies very nicely to Park Ridge, and that is the schools aren't an island. The schools are a reflection of the communities in which they're located, the reflection of the parents who are involved, the reflection of, of the grandparents and everyone in the community who contributes to the schools. And I think that's this is a success story that Park Ridge has demonstrated very clearly, at least to me in my years, and I think to many graduates of the school system here. So I, that's the first thing I'd like to say is, uh, it should be the other way around. You know, everyone gets their start in the public schools, or, or should get a start in public schools, because I think they're great. Um, and uh, that's where the education comes into play, and, and that's why I think the tribute should be the other way around. I, I never would have gotten to where I am today, certainly, without the education I received in Park Ridge. And I think a lot of that has to do with the school, but I think even, even more, it has to do with the community. And I think that's why year after year, Park Ridge is able to produce good students and good graduates because the community does support the schools. The schools do support the community, and I think that's what makes for successful graduates. So that'll be first message is thank you for, for uh, educating me and uh, teaching me so many things both in school and out of school. Uh, next, I'd just like to say a whole bunch of thank yous to those 30% that uh, I went to school with. Uh, uh, Some districts are getting a raw deal. I'm going to 
move ahead on a facilities bill, hopefully work with the legislature by July, July 1st, <laughs> to spend a lot of money on school construction. And I was going to begin a process to return Jersey City to local control after 10 years. And I went on for around five minutes, and the governor said, okay, do it. Sure, governor, you know, there, there are some problems here. You know, I spent 11 years working in education, <laughs> known every funding formula for the last decade and a half, right? involved in every major policy decision, but I, I'm not in it. I, I've never spent a day working in the schools. And she said, no, I've spoken to people. They think you're the person. So I've spoken to educators. I've spoken to 20. They think you're the person. So, well, if you think so, it says, just go out and implement what, what you just said, and I think you'll, you'll be a success. And I reluctantly agreed, and she was right. Um, there's been a wonderful reception to some of the things we're doing out in the field. Um, I think Superintendent's right. One, one of the reasons for that is a lot of the ideas are coming from the field. Um, I think two-thirds of our new standards code are our ideas that are being produced from the field, and um, it is worth listening. I spend a day a week traveling to school districts, uh, listening to what the kids have to say, listening to what the teachers have to say, listening to the, to the administrators and the principals and the superintendents. Um, I was in a pop con at 10 o'clock this morning and in Newton at 1. Uh, but you learn something valuable every time you go. You learn a lot about why New Jersey schools are so successful. And I think in response to my portion of the program, the status of education in New Jersey, I'll just sum it up. I think our schools work fine. I think the good things are happening everywhere I go in the state of New Jersey. It's amazing. And few people realize it, though. Few people actually get into the schools and see what a great job is going on. Um, it's far easier to bash your superintendent and bash your administrator and bash your teacher. But it's working. The schools are working. The schools are succeeding. Do we have a long way to go? Of course we do. But everyone needs goals. To say every kid's educated perfectly is a, it's not the message. The message is we're doing a good job and we should try to do better. That's the message that is always delivered. And I think that's the status of public education in New Jersey. We're doing a great job. And certainly we can do better. And, and we're taking positive steps to do better. Um, but but one of the things that's very evident to me in traveling around the state is, is that, that we're doing a great job. There are innovative programs everywhere. There's creative solutions to problems everywhere. The students are learning. Um, school district I was in today, the students are doing all of their papers, English papers, on the computers in their own little library. Um, Ten years ago, you've never seen that. And people don't know that. How many parents know that? That their kids don't have notebooks. They're doing all their all their writing on a computer, very few. And I think that's one of the problems that, that we do face over the next couple of years is parental involvement. Um, and I'm guilty of it too. For example, the incidents in Colorado and in Georgia. You know, when I send my little boy off to preschool, I have full faith in his, in his teachers and in his principal that he'll come home safe at the end of the day. I don't think about you know, what's, what's Hollywood's doing? What are the gun manufacturers doing? That doesn't come. I, I, I have full faith in, in my teacher and, and, and in his principal. But that's an awesome responsibility on those individuals to make sure my son comes home safe at the end of the day and that your children come home safe at the end of the day. And um, perhaps we need to look at other issues when we put our faith and all these expectations on our teachers and administrators because uh, it is an awesome responsibility, and I'm guilty of it too. I don't, I don't think about who, who's bringing a gun to school. I don't think about what messages we're sending the kids. All I think about is, yeah, my teacher, Nikki's teacher, that's a great person. She'll make sure Nikki comes home safe at the end of the day. Uh, but that's, a, that's an awesome responsibility on that teacher, because uh, there are things outside of her control, things outside the principal's control. And I think the message is how do we get involved? How do we get people involved? How do we get parents further involved so that they know that their child's doing all their papers on the computer and they know the influences that are on their child outside of school. They know the warning signs of when a child's being isolated 
and is subject to, to violence. Um, and I think that's really what our goal has to be over the next five years, is stop bashing teachers and stop bashing superintendents and start focusing on what's good in the schools and then trying to bring people in who might not understand the good things that are going on because I think that involvement, that community involvement, that involvement that Park Ridge represents, that's the answer to a lot of our problems, our, our student performance problems in some districts and our violence problems in other districts, it's community involvement and parental involvement. And I think that's what we need to focus on. That's why I'd love to replicate Park Ridge everywhere I go. Um, and perhaps I will. And we'll see, see in the future. But um, I'll sum up just by saying thanks so very much. It was really an honor for me. And as I began with, I uh, should be paying tribute to everyone here in this room. And uh, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Again, it is a pleasure to have a positive message and to reinforce all of the efforts that are being done on the public school level and to have somebody uh, of the commissioner's statute actually recognize that publicly. Uh, I know that I had uh, introduced a lot of people in the beginning. Uh, what I would like to do is just introduce uh, one more person, the person who headed the school system uh, when the commissioner was here, Dr. Robert Ballantyne. We have food and refreshments. I know that you're going to look forward to actually having a chance to speak to the commissioner. Uh, and if you could just join us out in the lobby, we would certainly uh, welcome you spending a, a little bit more time with us and uh, speaking to the commissioner in person. Again, thank you very much for coming.